Hey guys, welcome to our second part. I inherited a house and I want to sell it. If you're hoping to avoid any problematic surprises along the way, this episode is for you. That's what we'll be discussing and it starts right after this. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bill Martinez and I'm a realtor and probate specialist brokered by eXp right here in San Antonio, Texas. I post new videos every Tuesday all about real estate and probate. So have you inherited a house and would like to sell it but are hoping to steer clear from unexpected surprises? Great, well I've got six factors to be aware of when selling the property. When you're wanting to sell an inherited home, it's good to know what might be around the corner, right? Things maybe you haven't thought of. Now in the first part of this episode, we discussed how other beneficiaries play a role in selling the property for the good or the bad and how to deal with disagreements. The second thing we discussed was knowing your timeline, knowing your timeline and selling the property. Now, if you missed that information, don't worry about it. I'll show you how to access part one at the video suggestions at the end of this episode. But for now, let's continue to part two. So the third question to ask is, what's the value of the property? Again, numerous factors will dictate the value or the worth of the property, like the condition, the square footage, the age of the home, the location, current local market conditions, and so forth. By the way, right now this is recorded in the middle of May 2021, where the market is hot nearly everywhere. Supply is low, but demand is extremely high. If you're thinking about selling and the market is hot, sell fast and sell now. This is the time to list that property. I wouldn't wait. I'm a realtor and investor, so I have my pulse on the market. Even if you don't work with me, which I wouldn't see why you wouldn't, sell anyway, sell now. Do not wait, don't contemplate, don't wonder. If you're thinking about selling and you wanna make most amount of money, the market is for you right now. Call a realtor today, get a valuation, get a comparative market analysis for your property. The next question to consider is, is there any mortgage left to pay and if so, how much? This question is important in inheriting a property because you may not be aware as to whether there is a mortgage left on the property. If there is no mortgage attached to the property, to the estate, then fantastic, more equity for the estate. However, any inherited property with an outstanding mortgage will need to be settled upon the sale. So the net amount that you receive or the beneficiaries receive will come after the mortgage is settled. Pay attention to a due on clause sale, if there is one. This clause will require the entire loan to be paid off if the property is transferred to another person. In circumstances where there is more owed than the property is worth, a short sale would be required. I won't go into all the short sale details in this episode, but look forward to that one coming up in the near future. Until then, call us and we'll see how we can help if you're in that situation in need to short sell. The fifth question to ask is, are there any outstanding liens or debts on the property? Besides the mortgage, are there any other judgments or liens against the property? Now this could include, but not limited to, utility bills, property taxes, mechanic liens, sometimes car loans, or medical expenses. But there's also other things that can be on that list as well. So don't think that that's a comprehensive list of, of liens or judgments against the property. There could be other things. Now if there are any liens or judgments against the property, these expenses will have to be paid off as well before receiving the net amount of the sale of the property. The final question to ask is what repairs or updates are needed on the property? Now you have options when it comes to the level of repairs and updates because that will obviously depend on the condition of the home when you inherited it. It will also depend on your timeline in selling the property, which is what we covered in the first part of this episode. And it will also depend on how much available funds you have to do those necessary repairs and or updates. 
Now, if you want the cash within 30 days or less, odds are you don't have much time or any time to do repairs or updates, maybe some quick things, but nothing really involving, nothing that would really take more time than that. And if this is the case, then you may want to contact an investor and sell it as is. But if your goal is to get top dollar or at least fair market value, and if you're not in a hurry to sell the property, then you may want to hire an inspector or a trusted contractor who is familiar with local codes. The cost of repair and updates will obviously vary. And it will also depend on whether you decide to just do the necessary repairs or go all out and do updates to appeal to a modern buyer's standards. Obviously, the more the property resembles a new home, the more you will likely get in the sale of the property. But just know that that could delay the buying process since work has to be done and it will cost more money out of pocket. If you are willing to take this route, then I would recommend getting a realtor involved to move forward. So if you have inherited a house and you're wanting to sell it, move now. Don't wait. Don't delay. Don't wait for a better time in the market. The market is hot, as I mentioned. And if you don't want to get stuck in getting less for the property, click on the link below and download my free guide where I give you my six quick tips to sell. Click below and receive access. Well, I want to thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with somebody who is going through probate or who will be going through probate in the near future. Thanks again, guys. Take care.